All right, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are here tonight on the CE show to talk about Saturday night, excuse me, Saturday. That means we talk, that means we talk about football, college football on Saturday nights here on the CE show. So let's get the show started. All right, let's look right here. First of all, we're going to have the most um, fun games, let's be honest. We have, I believe, one that good game that, you know, was, you know, ranked versus ranked, you know, that was, um, Wisconsin versus Michigan, where, where, um, Wisconsin, Wisconsin won, um, 21 to 10, 10, 21 to 10, 20, excuse me, 21 to 10, I believe, and that we didn't really have a lot of ranks. My team, the Fighting Irish, redeemed themselves from last week and beat Navy. Man, I cannot believe that shit, man. They were giving us problems just running the football. Uh, I was a little bit right there, man. Shout out to Navy, man. A hell of a game. We win the game 24 to 17. I watched that whole game. Uh, Miami had problems versus Virginia. I'm not surprised because you know, obviously when you're a school that's been struggling for a long time, you know, and um, and you're ranked three for the first time in what, like 10, 15 years. I expect at least that first game for you to struggle, like mentally, you know, like GMG, like GMG, we're, no, we're number three, like we haven't been number three in years. So I'm not surprised. That, I think that could have been just a, a, a more of a mental thing for Miami, you know, after so long of struggling, you're finally about shit, you know, and you're like, you have a chance to actually go to the playoffs and win, and win a, champ, a, 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 a national championship this year. So uh, that, that first game, after all these years, you're number three. You're in the conversation for a championship, for a national championship. So I'm not surprised. But at the end, they did a nice job closing it out. I believe the final score was 45 to 27. Um, so at the end, they did a nice job of closing it out. Um, and we'll see what happens with Miami. But I, I, I like that that um, they uh, they struggle, but at the same time, they did a nice job closing out that game at the end. They win 45 to 27. What else did we see tonight that catch my Alabama beats the shit out of who the hell did they even play? They won like 7 to 0. Clemson, or, you know, Alabama wins. All the teams won. No really, not a lot of upsets, really. Um, and then, um, you know, but again, yeah, I mean, everybody that should have won won for the most part. There was not really a lot of upsets tonight. Um, but um, the last game. Um, then we watched, well, most of us watched tonight was um, USC versus UCLA. Um, and this game, yeah, we see the, the rivalry between these two schools, you know, both in the Los Angeles area, you know, which one's better. But a lot of people, there was about, there was about, a lot of people, or a lot of people were focused on the matchup between these two quarterbacks. Many people believe these are all the two guys that are going, that are the future of the NFL for next year. You know, a lot of people think they're going to be top 10 picks, in the, in, you know, and in in next year. So that was really the main focus. Not necessarily USC versus USCLA. It was more of who's better, Sam Darnold or um, Josh Rosen. Um, that was really the whole thing about this game. You know, obviously everybody's excited about the rivalry, you know, USC versus UCLA, Los Angeles, you know, who's the better um, university in Los Angeles. Yeah, whatever, yada, yada, yada. That a lot of people were more focused on who on the who is better, either Josh, uh, excuse me, um, Sam Darnold or Josh Ronson, Rosen. So, um, uh, um, let's talk about this. I did this. I, I have watched Sam Darnold quite a few times this year. I'm not too. I'm not too impressed to be honest with you. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I I saw him play. I saw him um, lose to Washington State. Um, tonight I saw him, and then the other time I saw him lose to Notre Dame. So this is three times I have watched them. I, love, I, I watch him lose to Notre Dame. I watch him win tonight versus UCLA, and then I watch him lose to Washington State. Um, I'm not too impressed with him, to be honest. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Sometimes, you know, you know, it happens where the talent is there, but you're not a success on the college level, and then you get to the NFL, and you, you're coached with the right guy, and it works out, maybe. Um, Josh Rosen from UCLA, I see more. I see more of a future for him. I, I, I really like the way he throws a football. Um, I, I'm more, I was a little bit more excited about Josh Rosen. I really like the way he throws a football. Um... I think yeah, he may have a little bit more of a future. Um, 
yeah, he lost. But we're talking about just the quarterbacks here. Just Josh Rose, Sam Darnold, and Josh Rosen. Um, I think he may have a little bit more of a future. Um, to be honest, just just from what I saw tonight, I think I would go with UCLA and Josh Rosen. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's too early. A lot of people were there. About only twelve. I don't. I think I, I, out of the NFL, out of I, I believe only twelve teams did not attend this game. This, um, most of the teams that attended this game, they want to look at this, these guys, you know. And um, yeah, so there was a lot of people here. Um, a lot of NFL scouts, you know, looking and seeing who's the future of the NFL. And I think Josh Rose is a little bit better, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it turns out, you know. Um, a few years ago, we had this, you know, who's better, you know. Carson Wentz coming out of Division Two. You know, I thought he was better than everybody else, you know. And, you know, so, you know, he's looking good. You know, I'm not going to lie. Um, at first, I was not too excited about – and I'm talking, ladies and gentlemen, I am talking – when the Eagles, remember the Eagles were like twenty, and they had a they they had a trade with Miami, and then they had a trade with um, Cleveland. So I'm talking like I'm talking when the Eagles did not have a chance to draft Carson Wentz. I was not a fan of him. I thought that there was no way from you can go from Division Two make the jump to the NFL and be successful. At first, I was not a fan of Carson Wentz. And um, as I started, as the Eagles, you know, it started looking like they were going to draft them when they jumped, you know, they traded from Miami. I believe what was it with like, what was it, 20 to 9? And then, I don't know, I'm not, well, or 15 to 9 and then 9 to 2? Um, then I also started studying more, you know. And I saw, well, this guy's actually talented. He has a big arm. He can run. He's very mobile, you know. The only thing with Carson Wentz was could he make the transition from Division Two to the NFL, and so far he has. And um, so and that's what, that's also the thing too, you know. Obviously, these guys don't have a; these guys are not taking that much of a step. These guys are playing Division One football, so when you get to the NFL, it's not that step of like you know you're 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 jumping a level like Carson Wentz. He jumped division. He jumped division one. Went from division two to the NFL. Didn't ever attend the division one. Where these guys, you know, obviously the, the 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 you're not jumping a level. You know, you're going from division one to the NFL. Um, but I'm 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 gonna go with I'm gonna go. You know, it reminds me a little bit of that comparison. You know, with Wentz and these other guys. Um, obviously, you would, the other quarterback you probably throw in here is probably Mayfield. Um. Which I actually like a lot, but a lot of you know a lot of people say that it's because of the Big Twelve and it's ridiculous. Those offenses are too soft, and that's why he's putting all those numbers up. And you know, once he gets to the NFL, he's gonna fall flat on his face. And we see that with the Sooners. You know, Sam Bradford, amazing in in, in, in college, fell flat on his face. Um, um, what is that other guy? Um, uh, he's with the Steelers. He um, when he had a, he had a few chance to play. Um, is it, um, le, 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 what is it, Landry? I believe his name is Landry. I believe that's his last name. I believe that's his last name, Landry. Um, he's getting a few chance when, um, when the, when, uh, you know, when somebody has gotten hurt, you know, um, and he falls out on his face. Um, so, you know, same thing with USC quarterbacks. Matt Liner fell flat on his face. Mark, Mark Sanchez fell flat on his face. Um, Charlie, what is his guy name? Matt Barkley fell flat on his face. So you both USC, both Oklahoma and USC do not have a history of of, of making of their quarterbacks making the transition to the NFL. UCLA, I don't think there's a lot of proof there. I know Hundley right now he's playing for the for the Packers and he went to UCLA, but for the most part, you, they does not have as much of a a history as um. As Oklahoma and um, and USC, but yes, I just think Oklahoma, Sam Bradford, Landry, two amazing in college. It fell flat on their face. USC, um, Matt Liner, Mark Sanchez, Matt Barkley, amazing, especially Matt Liner, fell flat on his face. And so you have to be a little bit careful when you're drafting from from those schools. Um, U.S. UCLA, I like, I really like that kid, Josh Rosen. 
I would go with him. I would take a look at Mayfield, but you have to be, you have to study Mayfield very, very, very you have to be, because he is playing in the Big 12 where there's a lot of weak defenses. So, you know. But um, we'll see what happens. It's still too early. It's only November. You have until May to make your decision. But we'll see what happens. But um, I think Josh Rosen looks good. Then probably Mayfield and then last um, Sam Donald. That's probably, the, that's probably how I would put him. Josh Rosen, um, Mayfield, and then um, Donald. But we'll see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see what happens. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know in the comment section. Who, who are your quarterbacks? Who do you think you know, who do you think has a, a, a future in the, in the NFL? You know, put let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Who do you think has a future? Um, also, what else can I say? Um, put your questions in for next week. No, so far we only have one question. We're gonna need a lot more if you want me to perform. So put in your questions. I want to see activity. I demand. I don't demand it. Well, actually, obviously, I will never demand you guys to do anything. I'm a very nice guy. I'm, I'm the friendly fat ass. But um, hey, if you would like to, obviously, if you don't want to, fine. But I mean, if you would like to, and if you if you like those um, questions, those Friday question night shows, put in your questions. So far, we only have one question. So right now, we are. Hey, and I and, and I'm thinking to myself. If I only get one or two questions, I may just do the show, and we'll just have a short video that day. So I used to say, if we don't get at least five questions, I will not be doing that, that show. But I have changed my mind, and I'm like, you know what? I take so long answering the questions, but you know what? Even if we only get one or two questions in, I'll make, I just do the show. It's like, I take like five to ten minutes to answer every question. So whatever. But so far, we only have one question. So putting your questions in, I'm calling everybody out. Um, putting your questions in if you want to, you know, let's see activity. Last week we saw a lot of activity. Um, so, so putting your questions in and, and, maybe, and maybe you can get into a question. Hey, friendly, friendly fat ass. Who do you think is the best and a, 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 um, college quarterback to have success in the NFL? I just gave you a question. Who's going to copy it? Let's see here. Anyways, um, um, what else can I say here? I'm going to thank everybody. Um, shout out to everybody, you know, um, what else can I say tomorrow? NFL, I am excited for the NFL tomorrow. We have a lot of great games. I will be getting up, uh, you know, you know me, I'm the friendly fat ass. I will be eating a lot of breakfast, pancakes, you know, I hop style, you know, then I will be having probably some cheeseburgers, you know, take a shit. Anyway, no, 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 no. Oh, actually, yeah, but you know, we don't need to talk about that. Anyways, um, what else can I say? But thank you. Um, what else can I say? I, maybe I should say, see you later. Have a good night. Actually, yeah, you know what? I'll probably just say that. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good night. And until next time, I will see you later. What a show I did once again. I think I should be the Hall of Fame for this show, man. I can't believe it. I should win like the award of the year for 2017. I cannot believe this. I continue to 18 minutes again? See, can you like shut your mouth and know your role? Why can't I never fucking make a fucking 10 to 12 minute video anymore? I'm making a fucking, I'm struggling right now. Anyways, I'm, I apologize once again. The video went too long. WTF. I know some of you like it. I don't know. I know um, some of you say, hey, time doesn't matter. You know, it's not an issue for me. But I don't know how everybody else feels. But I know one person told me in the comment section that um, it's not. Oh, 13 minutes. I'm such an idiot. It's only, oh, what, oh, oh, oh I'm such an idiot.